my name is Ryan. I'm going to be talking about the different types or a couple different types of number systems. I'm going to be talking about our number system, um, hexadecimal and binary as well. And I'm going to teach you how to uh, convert between the three. Now our number system, the number humans use every day, is called base 10. And oddly enough, it's called that because it is based off the number 10. Uh, every, every numbers place that, that we use has 10 possible numbers that, can, that we can use to fill it. It's uh, 0 through 9. Now we think, well, most likely we're using base 10 because we have 10 fingers. So that's how we count to 10. That's why. Um, now, computers, on the other hand, are different. When we, um, through the years, we've used many different types of, of data storage for computers. We've punched holes in paper, we've used vacuum tubes, switches, diodes, all sorts of things. But the main thing that all these have in common is that they actually have just two states. You can punch a hole in paper, or you can leave it unpunched, but there's only two. There's no way to halfway do it. Same with vacuum tubes, switches, and diodes. They can either be on or off. No other option. So computers only have two switches. They have two fingers they can work with. So that's why they think differently than we do. They don't think in base 10. They think in what is called base 2, which is binary. And the reasoning between that is that they only have the two switches. They can do 0 or 1. Now, binary is great for computers since they only have the two fingers. They can that, That's what they do. And they also take numbers one digit at a time. So it's, it works great for them. But for us, for the average human, binary gets really long and just hard to read. You know, it, it, in order to, to say the number 255, it takes eight digits to say that in binary. And it just doesn't work. I mean, the average person can't just look at a number and say, oh yeah, that looks like 209. No, it just doesn't happen. So what we tried to do instead, or we have developed to do instead for um, programmers and networkers, what they've decided to do to make it easier for themselves is to work in what's called hexadecimal, which is base 16. And the great thing about this is that it is a lot shorter. Um, basically, a digit that takes, or a number that takes eight digits in binary only takes two in hexadecimal. So that 209, um, as you can see on your paper, it is actually only, in hexadecimal, is only two digits, D1. Now, it's not really that intuitive that D1 is equal to, you know, 209, but at least that's a lot shorter, right? So let's, let's show how, how this works here, how we, how we count. So first, we're going to count in, you know, in normal numbers, because we don't know how to do that yet, right? So, zero number. So just to keep it easy, we'll start there. We've got zero, you know, one, two, three, count with me, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then when we get to nine, we run out of numbers. So what we have to do, we have to start all over at zero. But in order, instead of just starting at zero, we add a one. We add a one to show that we've already gone through this whole list one time. So that is 10. And then we keep going through 11, 12, and so on. Yes, we all know this already. So it works the same way in other number systems. In binary, do the same thing. We do, we count to one. Zero, one. Now when we add another one, there's no other numbers. So we have to start all over at one, at zero. And we carry the one, and that's how we add it. So that's actually one zero is equal to two in binary. And then we can add another one to the ones place, and we get three in binary. So when we do it again, we add another one here, which be, makes that zero, so we carry the one over here, makes that zero as well, and we have to carry another one. So one zero zero, and that is four in binary. Now following that, the hexadecimal system works exactly the same. Just more numbers. We have one, two, three, four, working the same way, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now when we get to nine, 
We know a hexadecimal has 16 numbers, so there's more numbers below here. But there's no more digits. We can't write a 10, because that would look confusing. So what we do is we use letters, because everyone knows what letters look like. So A is actually equal to 10 in, in hexadecimal. We have B, C, D, all the way up to F. So F is actually equal to 15. And then at the end, start over at 0 and carry the 1. And we have 1, 0, which if we were talking normal numbers would be 10. But we're not talking normal numbers, we're talking hexadecimal. So this is 16. How cool is that? So yes, now that we know how to count, adding should be no problem, correct? Exactly. So let's go. <clears throat> so, we're going to start normally. I'm going to start by doing just a base 10 number for y'all, just to figure that out. So we have, we're going to start with 5,983. Probably should uh, down a little more. Oh. So, this is the base number, base 10 number. What we do is first we have to figure out what each place is worth. So, we're going to start out. This is the ones place, so it's going to be worth 1. Always worth 1. Now, we're doing base 10. So, in order to find out what the next digit is worth, we have to multiply this by 10, because each digit is worth 10 more. So 1 times 10 is 10. Yeah. And we know that because this is the tens place. And then we do it again. 10 times 10 is 100. And that is the hundreds place. 100 times 10 is 1,000. So we already you know, know that. And then what we can do is figure out what each one is worth. So 5 times 1,000 is equal to 5,000. And then 9 times ni uh, 100 is equal to 900. And then 8 times 10 is 80. know that. And then 3 times 1 is 3. So you add them all up, you get 3, 10 is 9, 8, 9, 5. So we now know that 5,983 is equal to 5,983. Isn't math amazing? Yes. So now, we're going to try a little bit harder. We're going to try the binary. So we will try 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. All right, so switch this over to regular numbers. Now, since we're now in binary, which is base 2, we're going to start out. We're going to start out with 1, because the, it's always the 1's place off to the far right. And then we are going to multiply by 2. So 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 16 is 32. 64. 128. So this is what these places are. So one's place, the two's place, the four's place, all the way up to the 128th place. Yes. So, and now we just multiply the same way we did before. Now we all know that zero times 128 is, is zero. So I'm just going to ignore all the zeros. We're just going to do the, the one. So one times 32 is 32. One times 32 is 32. 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 2 is 2. And we can add them all up. So we have 2 plus 8 is 10 plus 2 is 12. So that's 2. Carry the 1. 1 times 1 plus 3 is 4. So 42 
is actually equal to, in binary, 00101010. So that is why we don't like to deal with this. And hexadecimal, I don't have room here, but hexadecimal works the exact same way. Only, when you're using it, instead of multiplying by 10, or multiplying by 2, it is base 16, so you actually multiply by 16. So you go, you know, 1, 16, and 16 times 16 is 256, I believe. Yes, sure, that sounds good. And that is how we do it. So, hope you enjoyed this.